Driving in once again, Pablo Sandoval. As he'll get things started in the sixth for the Giants. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Hernandez. He's got it one away. The batter number 35. Shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Now at the plate, Brandon Crawford earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. First pitch on its way. Fly ball right down the line and left. Pollock on the run, and he makes the catch in the corner. Now batting, right fielder, Jan Hervé. So Solarte. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jan Hervé Solarte. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Two out, nobody on. Nope. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Hernandez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Giants are down one, two, three, but they're in front four to nothing. Back here in San Francisco, Giants leading this one as we get set for the seventh, but before it gets underway, there you see our game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's Jock Peterson now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Oh, one pitch on its way. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. And this is going to wind up hitting the bag at third. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Hey, that's a heck of an approach right there. Lead off single in the late innings. Teams down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. Digging in to try it again. Matt Beatty, one for two on his line so far in the game. Now time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with his first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's about league average so far, so he's right on point. Peterson aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And, mm, looked like he really left himself open after he released, and this ball came back and got him pretty good. And without speculating too much here, it's looking, at this point at least, like he will be able to continue out there. We should hope.
your Will attention, Smith please. will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here Number as he'll pinch 60. hit now with one away. Will Smith. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Into the box, Kike Hernandez, as he'll take a breaking ball in off the plate for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now the 1 0. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Lined hard to the left side, but it drops foul down there in the home bullpen area. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And now a curveball in the dirt and knocked down by Posey. And the recovery will be in time to get him at the plate. And that's going to hurt because now there are two away. He's trying his hardest to help his guys get back into the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Here now the 2-2. And he fouls this one off. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. So a two run shot to left center fourth home run for him on the season and the Dodgers have cut this to a four two score now. Well he was over in the series before that blast so that's just about as welcome a sight as he could hope for. He got a pitch to his liking and took out a lot of frustration with that swing. The batter number three second baseman standing in now Chris Taylor. Taylor as he swings and grounds it toward the hole that gets through for a base hit he's now three for four in this one. Hey Dero not a bad night three singles but hey you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah in today's day and age Dan where everything's a homer a walk or a strikeout it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Digging in Cody Bellinger and he's over in this one batting out of the three spot. He's set and the pitch fouled away. Tying run at the plate the 0 1 that one doesn't even sniff the zone missing very high. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. The 1 1 misses above the zone for a ball. Well when you're behind an account like this pitcher is it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one walks are never good but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. 
And this misses here for ball Perfect. four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just DJ. missed, and now the inning oh, continues with the man in scoring position. And now Boach is going to make his way out toward home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Trevor Gott will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 91, Trevor Gott. Now playing right field and batting. So a pivotal moment Number here and digging in now. A.J. Pollock. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Now playing second base. Number three. Chris Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Gott has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Pollock, a previous member of the Diamondbacks organization, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. The three one fouled off. Taylor at second, Bellinger at first, two out in the inning. Count still full, three and two. Another one sent foul. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. So stepping in, Corey Seeger, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score as that lead has evaporated. It's now a tie game for a piece. Now there are base hits, but then there are big base hits, d -Row. This one's getting late. That is a huge two RBI base hit to tie things up. Yeah, Dan, in the late innings, the pressure gets higher. It's who can control their emotions. And from an offensive standpoint, that's a nice job of taking a deep breath and coming through for the team. Stepping in now, Austin Barnes, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Four runs here in this half inning. Swing and a line drive. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. The relay. On to second, but he's in safely as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself.
And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging yeah, the bat as well as he's been, base. this is a smart move. Yeah. No reason to tempt fate out there. Into the box for the Dodgers now. Matt Beatty as he looks to deliver with the bases loaded and two away. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch ripped down the line. Ready with the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Two out, bases loaded. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. A one two pitch. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. From the stretch, the one two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And obviously a big spot here with the bases loaded so he'll step out to rethink things. Ready with the one two. This is pulled into right. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Another look here at the gorgeous catch that strands the bases loaded. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Pedro Baez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 52, Pedro Baez. Stepping in, Steven Duggar. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Hit hard on the ground to third. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. They need to be aggressive right here from the offensive standpoint. Lead off base like hit, bottom of the eight. seventh. You're down one. Oh, this oh, has no. to be the moment they scratch oh, one oh. across.
in is Gerardo Parra as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one career numbers against Baez two hits in seven tries. This is in the air to right Hernandez giving chase he gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batting left fielder Kevin Bullhorn. So a runner at first now with one away and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively Kevin Pilar. He's set. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Open to send him packing pitch on its way might have been looking to find that outside corner but he couldn't quite get it there it's one and two he's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away he can't just make it a non competitive pitch and allow these guys to take He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. The one two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The one two. And it's fouled away. Duggar leads off first with one away. Line hard to the left side. But no one gets to this one as it lands in the home bullpen. A foul ball. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. And he fouls this one off. Quick check on that tying oh, run at first. And the runner back in standing. Here's another one, two. Hit on the ground to third. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Nick Your Vincent please. has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61. Yeah. Vincent. Alex Verdugo is going to be asked to get things Number going here as a lead off the top Alex. of the eighth. Verdugo. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. The average not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. Four home runs and 15 RBIs. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. It's a fastball high there, one and two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. The one, two. Fouled away.
The one two. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batter, right fielder, Kike Hernandez. We'll stand in again, and we'll take you back to the seventh inning. This was a two-run home run, and it was one of the key blows in the ball game thus far. From the stretch. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Para on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now battle, second baseman. Chris Taylor. Stepping up now, Chris Taylor. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's in there for strike one. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0 1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Heading out towards shallow right, Para on the move. He slides and makes the catch. A beautiful play to end the inning. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. Back with more on our Wednesday night showcase right after this. Zach Britton is on to pitch out of now, the bullpen in the bottom Dodgers. half of the eighth. Number 54, Zach Britton. Ready for another chance? Joe Panic. He'll Ready have a new pitcher waiting shot. for him as we begin their the half of the eighth. Joe Panic. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Starts oh, him out with a sinker that's inside, 1 0. Oh. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Hit out towards second. Taylor has it. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The catcher, number 28. 
One gone here in the Giants' half of the eight, and that'll bring up the former World Series champ, MVP, and rookie of the year, Buster Posey. Joe Kelly answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. First delivery to him on the way. And this is taken outside for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Full count now. Three and two. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Seeger has it. On to first and there were two down. The first baseman, number 19, Tyler Austin. Now the Giants number four batter Tyler Austin he was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah Maddie and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got to bear down he gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play. And the outfielders getting the signal now to play deep don't want anything over their heads here. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. Whoa, Two and right one. Now. Two out nobody on. Hey. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Giants down in order. Still down a run. It's 5-4. to four. Will Smith enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Cody Bellinger, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Bellinger. Here comes the first pitch. Left side, but well fouled. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Nope. Missed oh. low and inside with it, one and one. Oh, and it looks now right. like a right hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. The one one home. Misses, ball oh, two. Hard hit toward the hole. Crawford fields it cleanly. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The left fielder, number 11, A.J. Pollard. Now to the plate, A.J. Pollard.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, number five, shortstop. Corey Seager. Here's Corey Seager in his last appearance. He singled home a pair of runs. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Here it comes. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Popped him up. And he's able to get there on the long run. And he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Nothing more in the Dodger ninth. On to the bottom half. Last chance here for the Giants. They'll be looking for one. It's a 5-4 ball game. Now at the plate, Pablo Sandoval. He flew out in his last at bat. Kenley Jansen comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And it's fouled away. A pause and the 0-2. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. Now another 0 2 ball one as he lays off below the zone. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Hey he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. Another one two delivery and he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Oh. Two balls and two strikes to the former <laughs> World Series MVP. Hop 
picks this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Taylor is under it one down. So no the leadoff off man gone to start the top of the ninth Shortstop. as we take a look at Ranger. the lead saves leaders entering Crawford. play. And as you can see there he in fact leads the NL in that category. At the plate Brandon Crawford career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen he's got two hits in 18 at bats and on 10 occasions he's been a strikeout victim. Here's the pitch. Cut fastball inside ball one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there at that cutter inside and that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of and a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Yeah. Strike taken good pitch on the lower part of the zone. One out, nobody on. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. Here's another 2 2. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Yeah, as they oh, say, there's a the hole guy. in his swing in that location, no so a good job Where? there of exploiting that. That can be real hard Where? for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Your Brandon Belt three. will pinch hit here, pinch and he's the, the potential tying run. Number nine, Brandon And the outfielders getting the signal now to play deep. Don't want anything over their heads here. And a step off. Too low, 1 0. The average for him at 267 on the year. Two home runs and five driven in. Jansen comes set. Here it is on 1 and 0. Fouled straight back. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Last strike here for the Giants. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. Throw into second. And going for it, the right call. He's in at second base with a two out double. Now, everyone knows field. there are no awards for successful getting 26 outs. You need to get all 27 before you can start celebrating. That two out double here tonight, putting the equalizer on at second base. A couple minutes ago, this thing looked like it might be over. But everything can change with one swing of the bat. Now in the box, Steven Duggar. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second.
Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And that misses for ball one. Didn't get the call there, but you can't let that bother. You just have to say, uh, so what? And make another good pitch. The set and the 1 0. Grounder down the line at third. The 1-1. One, one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they will hold that possible tying run at third, as even with two away, they decide to put the stop sign on. All right, Dan, as a former closer right here, you get two quick outs in the ninth inning, and then you give up back-to-back -back knocks. Are you one pitch away? What are you telling yourself? You know, sometimes the hardest thing to do, d -Row, is to get that one, two, three, ninth inning, two base hits in a row right now. This is where you really have to make some good pitches. It's never easy pitching the ninth inning, and this is an indication of that right here. Into the box now, Gerardo Parra. Liner towards second. And he delivers with two outs in the ninth. It's a base hit. And the tying run is in to score from third. You know, D-Row, in today's D game, it's one. not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI oh, base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Into the box, Kevin Pillar hit in the air down the right field line. Hernandez is after it, and no one will track it down. The 0 1. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer, and we're right back where we started from. Tenth inning coming up, and we are all tied five to five. Ladies Reyes Maranta takes the mound as he'll be the first man to now pitch here in extra time. innings. Number 54, Reyes Maranta. Digging in once again, Austin Barnes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another Austin big hit right here. Barnes. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe oh. once an A-B, maybe once oh, a game, oh, right. maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. The 1-0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. And he 
can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Standing in now, Jock Peterson. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. That Lays off the fastball the way, and it's 2-0. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. The 3-1 pitch. Fouled off. Now the three and two pitch and it's fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. Oh it's on the ground a second. Did he get his double play to Austin for the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. Stepping in now, Matt Beatty, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. And two here it is slider Ooh, thought he had him but it's one and two I know he buried that slider in right there but that's a dangerous pitch if he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside it leaks out over the plate he can get hurt with that pitch And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Dodgers go down quietly. This ball game still tied 5 all. Stepping into the box, Joe Panic. He'll go. start Robert things out Johnson. here in a tie ball game. The second baseman. Go. Looks like a Panic. tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. The 0 1 pitch. He pulls this one into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. The catcher, number 28, Buster Posey. Stepping in, Buster Posey. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen. He hits at a 364 clip. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike.
nope. ball one. He obviously wanted that call in the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. The 1-1 one, one home. Count is 1-2 and two now. Hit hard towards center, and Buster's going to make his way aboard. He's got a base hit. Hey, nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with, but this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. 